Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about a big update that just came to Android phones. These are Android phones that have Android 6.0 Marshmallow as well as Android 7.0 Nougat. This update allows you to use Google Assistant, which I've talked about a lot on the Google Home, right on your phone. So all you have to do is hold that home button and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you have the right Android software on your phone. So you just go into settings and go down to about device. And then right here, it will say software info. And I can see that I am on Android 6.1, so I should be receiving Google Assistant on my phone. Next, go into the Play Store and make sure that you have the latest version of the Google app. So here I'm just gonna select update to make sure that is the latest version. Okay, now you can either click open or I would just hold down the home button so that it jumps right into the assistant. So then you will see this, hi, how can I help? Here I'm gonna select continue. So here it's asking if I give permissions. I'm gonna say yes, I'm in. And then I'm gonna say get started. So this will train my voice to my Google Assistant so that it can recognize me. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? What can you do? There are lots of things I can help you with. For example, you can say things like, fact about holy, or happy holy. Swipe to see more options. So if you have a Google Home nearby, when you're using Google Assistant on your phone, it will answer on the Google Home more often than not. So this is great and gonna be used when you're away from the Google Home in another room or even away from home, you can still use Google Assistant. And again, to get to it, all you have to do is hold down and it will jump in. So if you previously had the Google Home and you have used Google Assistant before, you won't have to set up those services. It will already recognize what you have. Okay, Google, turn on the family room lights. Sure, turning the family room light off. Some of the new things that you can do with Google Assistant on the phone are send text messages, make phone calls, leave notes, as well as do navigation. For a comprehensive list of available commands, Click the down arrow to see the description to find them all here below. If you're on a desktop computer, under the video, click the show more option. Okay, Google, call Carrie. Calling Carrie Bristow, mobile. Okay, Google, remind me to take out the trash tomorrow night. Do you want to save this? Yes. Okay. Reminder saved. Okay, Google. Set a lunch event for tomorrow at 12. Okay. Do you want to save this? Yes. Okay. Event created. Navigate to Costco. There are a few choices here. Tap the one you want. So not only do you have all these new features that you can use on Google Assistant on your phone, you also have the existing features that you could use on the Google Home. If you'd like to see a list of 101 of those, please click the I right up here in the top corner. Okay, Google, sing me a song. What does a penguin say? Here's what a penguin sounds like. <laughs> Play rock music on my home group. Here's an answer from Google. Looks like there are a few features that won't work on Google Assistant on the phone. Since you do have a screen, you can now use a few things from Google that will show you directly here. Okay, Google, 
Show me photos of Claire. Let's check your Google Photos. And these are pulling right from my Google Photos. Play Tech with Brett from YouTube. Sure. So close. Okay, Google. Open YouTube. A few of the settings you have right within the Google app, if you go into the menu and then settings, here you have the option to change what you have on the phone set up or what you have on the Google Home if you have one. Here you can see that all the home control devices I have have already been set up. If you don't have a device set up yet, you just go here, you can add your Nest account, SmartThings, Honeywell, Philips Hue, as well as Wemo. You can also adjust your news. So when you say good morning or good afternoon, it can give you the latest news from what is selected here. Here is what it will show me in the morning when I ask it about my day. And then here you can select what shopping list you want it to go to with the account. So here I would add it to my main account. And this is the same shopping list that the Google Home will interact with. Here you can also change your personal info, addresses, uh, payments for shopping, which I, at the time I could not get it to work here on the assistant. And then here's a cool trick. If you wanna see what you have asked Google Assistant, you can come in here and it will give you a list of all the things that you have used. If you want the Google Assistant to call you something else other than your name, you can click right here and click on nicknames and there you can adjust it and you can even make sure Tech with Brett. it plays it correctly. It just knows exactly who I am. Okay, Google, beatbox. Sure, I know a guy. Hold on, I'll get him. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about Google Assistant on Android phones and the differences between the Google Home. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer you. If this video helped you out, I'd love for you to hit the like as well as share it with somebody who needs to use this on a daily basis. If you want more tech tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one.